I'm so broken. Barely able to choke out words, Danielle Branch eventually managed to tell a Jefferson County jury about the loss of her daughter Madison. Last summer, the 14-year-old had been fatally stabbed outside a Portland gas station. Everybody is just broken. I mean, a whole part of our family is just gone. She's just, just gone, just like it. In a brief but powerful victim's impact statement, Branch spoke to jurors before they recommended a sentence for so, defendant um, Tiffany James. Earlier in the day, James had taken a stand claiming she acted in self-defense in June 2017. She said the group of girls seen in this cell phone video, including Madison Branch, had been bullying her sister. She admitted to stabbing Branch, but said she only did so after Branch came at her. She wasn't scared, and it just made me believe that she, she was possibly going to, going to do something. I, I didn't hit her back. I didn't, I didn't even hit her in the first place. I didn't do anything. Tiffany James, now 20, was ultimately found guilty of reckless homicide, and later the jury recommended the highest sentence, five years. But because of time served, five years won't end up being five years, and Madison Branch's family left the courtroom in tears. They're just very disappointed because they do believe that this was uh, a higher degree of homicide. Tiffany James's family, who covered her face with a sweater Friday night when they left court, also declined to comment. But one woman said this. No, we're sorry for everything. Tiffany James, as you just saw, Rick Vicky, was not taken into custody tonight. In fact, she has served just two months behind bars. The rest of the time, she has been on home incarceration. Now, at her formal sentencing next month, it will be up to the judge to decide whether or not to probate her case or send her to prison. We do know she will likely get credit for time served. Reporting live downtown for you tonight, I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News. Thank